Holy shit. <laughs> 24 hours. Wow. I think that's like the best pasta I've had in my life so far. Last time I was out of the country was like 2020, February in New York. That was it. Oh my god. Oh. It feels super weird that I'm finally going out of the country. But this time it's going to be for work. Um, but I'm still very excited and happy. Okay, you I wish you a very pleasant day too. So I just checked in and then it's like 6 p.m. I had no idea people here don't eat dinner until 7, so a lot of restaurants don't open until 7 or 7.30. So I'm gonna go look for some food. Holy shit. Mm -mm. I think that's like the best pasta I've had in my life so far. Currently processing how good this thing is. It's like the perfect balance of cheese and tomato. And you could taste the fresh tomato. It's definitely like a homemade sauce. I always like to add ketchup to my scrambled eggs, but I don't know if it's like really offensive in Italy to add ketchup to eggs. So I didn't ask, um, so I'm just using salt and pepper. I'm not a huge fan of cheese, but so far, I feel like the cheese here is really good. So pretty. So my shitty Italian white bags are Bianco and then black bags are narrow. So Bianco equals white. So this should be whitening, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Okay, it's a margarita. Okay. Mm. 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 Chocolate con pistachio. Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay, <laughs> recommended me this place um, and they told me a really fun fact like in Italy or in Milan most um, sushi chains or sushi restaurants are owned by Chinese people and I think that's really interesting because back in Seattle a lot of the cheaper um, sushi spots were owned by Koreans <laughs> Finally meeting my colleagues in Milan. This is the look today. We'll take earrings and then a tank top, gray pants, and uh, silver sneakers.
my pasta journey in Italy. A quick breakfast and I always get the same thing um, so bread cheese with turkey and scrambled eggs Called in Italian? Fino. Finocchi. And then cucumbers and carrots. So I just got off work and then I'm gonna go to my boss's house for a welcome dinner. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what? This is, uh, there's a little bit 沒有這個是我一會兒做那個不利做 Eggplant Whoa. This is grilled? Yeah, it's grilled. No idea. Hmm. This is chrysanthemum. Yep. Black tender. You guys like this one? It's very sweet. Oh, I like this song. Because... I like this one. Pardon? Yes! Oh, oh, no. 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 為什麼要泡酒裡面啊沒有就是<笑> So I just got off work It's Friday finally and I'm on my way to get my film developed. So I found a super cute film development shop. So I'm gonna go check it out and then get my first roll of film here developed. The name is 24 Hours. is like famous for seafood so I got their shrimp spaghetti 
three different types of shrimp. And then I also got a sea bass, but I don't know if I can finish because I thought the portions would be really small, but it's actually normal portions. Oysters, the pasta, the sea bass, and then it's the sparkly. Starbucks Reserve back then had a Frenchie Bakery, um, but I'm finally trying out the actual Frenchie in Milan. So they're, I don't know what this is called, but it's usually warm, but then I got the one that's cold. I think the biggest difference here is definitely the tomato. Um, it's a lot better than in the States. Um, I think the bread is about the same, but definitely the tomato. So many Asians here. <laughs> it's a big hate here. What does that say? Colo? What does that mean? So this is literally called ravioli. And then the noodles, like the Chinese noodles, they call spaghetti. How do we walk? 